have you ever been out for a walk with your dog and he's either off leash or maybe at the end of his leash and he suddenly stops and just turns his head, looks back at you, just to kind of see where you are, makes eye contact with you. <coughs> that is called an automatic check-in and it's something we want to encourage in our dogs. The idea of the automatic check-in um, is that the dog looks at us, makes direct eye contact, doesn't just glance, but looks directly at us. But it's also not a stare. It's not where the dog walks along beside you like this, um, or you know, constantly stares at you. Um, it's just this, what you doing? What's going on? Okay, and we're off we go. Um, so it can be done you know, while you're just sort of lounging around, um, you know, in a park maybe, when you're on a walk. But the purpose of the auto check-in, this automatic you know, eye contact the dog makes is, it is the dog's decision to do this. Um, and he's getting information from you. What we want it to evolve into is for the dog to use the automatic check-in when there's something that's a little bit maybe scary or exciting rather than having a dog that lunges and barks at stuff or runs away screaming or you know pulls you uh, over to their best buddy so that they can play with them um, we want a dog that sees something and then looks at you did you see that what are we going to do about it um, so we teach the automatic check-in by simply rewarding the dog when they do it we don't cue it, we don't you know, try to get their attention, we just sit here or stand. Dogs on leash so they can't really go anywhere, but we want them to look at us and get a big reward. So Quincy does a pretty good check-in already, um, but what you want to do with your dog is he's on leash and he can't wander off because you know, you've got hold of the leash. And so I've got the food in my lap. So we'll just wait. When Quincy looks at you know, me, then um, I would mark and then reward. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him 10 pieces, small, small pieces of food in a row. And I'm going to tell him what a good boy you are. Did you just do that so wonderfully well? Yes, you did. Now, depending on the dog, you might want to get really, really excited about it. Or you don't want the dog to get too excited, and so you may stay calm. It's, you know, individual dogs are all different. Um, but we're going to give the 10 pieces, and then we're just going to just ignore the dog. So what we're doing is we are not constantly looking at him. Keep him in your peripheral vision, see what he's doing, um, and you know, just allow him to kind of maybe get a little distracted again. And in Quincy's case, it's the bag of food. And then when we get the what I want, we'll just wait. So normally you would be sitting here quietly contemplating nature. Yes. Now, he lay down, which I don't care about, but he did give me eye contact, which I do care about. Oh, you're such a good boy, aren't you? Is that a good dog? Yes, you are. So I gave him his 10 pieces of food. And again, yeah, that's a good boy. And then I'll just relax again and look away and wait and see what he does. Um, and you can do this maybe three times, see how the dog does. And then you can finish the exercise off by going, find it, and I just let him go. Um, you may let him wander around a little bit. Um, you, know, you may decide, uh, oh, let's do this again, and so wait you know, for him to check back in with you. But he's on leash so that he can't wander away uh, unless you're in a safe area and you can you know, tell him, okay, off you go, do something else. So what this automatic check-in gives you as the dog gets better at it, is that um, he'll see something and he'll look at you uh, asking, what do we do now? Then you assess the situation. What do I do? Well, that's your best buddy. And you know what? We've got time. Let's go over and say hi. And so this keeps him at a level of excitement where it's, oh, we're going to go say hi to him without him lunging and pulling and towing you over there. Um, or you might say, oh, that's your worst enemy. I think we need to get out of here. And you'll you know, have him come along with you to, to get out of the situation. 
Or you might just decide, you know what, let's just sit here and observe what's going on over there. Uh, so that uh, the dog eventually realizes, well, mom's all relaxed and that thing isn't killing me or not getting any worse, so I guess everything's fine. Um, you can also ask the dog to come here and sit and down. Yeah. Um, and perhaps do a scatter depending on what the circumstances are. You know, maybe leaving is not an option for some reason, but you need to get the dog's focus on you. Um, so just having him do things. We never want to have a dog staring at something that worries him and then tell him you've got to sit here and you've got to wait. We're not enforcing you know, that kind of a sit. But we're just playing a game, the sit game, the down game, you know, the fist bump game, the touch my hand game, uh, in the presence of something that could be just a little bit off-putting. Um, so the auto check-in is something that can help the dog learn to relax in different environments. You can do it at home, you need to get them started in your yard, but you can start working with this anywhere as long as you're at a distance from whatever worries him that he can go, that's interesting, I'm not sure about that, but it's far enough away that I'm not panic stricken either, I can focus. So the auto check-in uh, can give you a lot of options for a dog that might be a bit fearful or a bit reactive. <coughs>